Welcome back to another batch of quick tips for old school RuneScape. Today, we're diving into the world of unlockable items that should be your top priority if you want to level up your gear without spending a single GP. All of the items in this list are essential upgrades for your account, but one of them is actually a best in slot item. If you've got any guesses, post them in the comment section below. And be sure to stick around to the end for an extra bonus tip. So, first up on our list is the Dragon Defender. Defenders are the optimal gear for your shield slot item if you're focusing on offensive bonuses and Dragon is pretty much top tier. You'll find this bad boy in the Warriors Guild and all you need is a combined level of 130 attack and strength or 99 in either to start the grind. There are various challenges you can take part in to gain tokens, which are required for access to the top floor Cyclops room. These guys drop defenders from bronze all the way to rune. The most efficient way to gain tokens is by killing reanimated armour. This grind is RNG based, so you might be here a while. Once you have your rune defender, you can go to the basement and you'll get access to the Cyclops that drops the Dragon Defender, for more tokens of course. Once you get the Dragon Defender, it requires level 60 defence to wield and you'll need it later on too if you want to combine it with an Avernic Hilt to make an Avernic Defender, the best in slot offensive melee shield slot item. Next we've got the Fire Cape. Other than the Infernal Cape, it's the best melee cape for most purposes. If you already have an Infernal Cape and you're watching this video, you should probably be the one teaching me. Head over to the Tuzhar Fight Caves in Karamja Volcano for this one. It's going to test your combat skills, so make sure you're packing some serious heat with at least 17 in your combat style of choice. It's going to be 63 waves of increasingly difficult enemies, finishing up with the boss monster Tuztok Jad. If you haven't already, Here's where you'll need to master switching your prayers in an accordance with his attack style. Range is recommended for first timers using a blowpipe, dragon crossbow or magic shortbow. You can get creative with using blood spells from the ancient magic spellbook or guthans to heal yourself up, but a good range level, knowing the safe spots and bringing the right supplies is all you should need. Next up is the full void armour set from Pest Control. You'll need to rack up 1,250 pest control points to snag the whole set, or 850 if you just want one combat style. It's a hybrid armor set which changes your stat bonuses dramatically depending on the helmet you have equipped. There's a helmet for each style, melee, range and magic. The offensive bonuses are so good that it's popular with people learning endgame PVM like the Theatre of Blood and Tombs of a Mascot. The minigame itself is accessible through a boat in Port Sarim and then board the appropriate lander for your level to deploy. You have to take out the portals on the edge of the map before the knight in the centre dies. Pest control can be a bit of a grind, so if you want to speed it up, completing a tier of the combat achievements increases the number of points for each round by one. This stacks for the first three tiers, so get a few tiers done and you'll have your armour in no time. To make this set even better, do the Candor in Hard Diary and unlock Elite Void, an upgraded version of this set. For all you warriors out there, the Fighter Torso is a must have. Dive into Barbarian Assault, earn 375 honour points and you'll be rocking that torso in no time. It's another mini game and this time you take on one of four roles. Collector, who collects and launches explosive eggs. Defender, who sets traps to catch runners. A healer, who heals his allies and an attacker who uses regular attacks to damage their enemies. If you can get a good team, you can do this in an afternoon. The torso has offensive stats equal to a bando's chest plate, and it makes it look like you have a six pack, so it's the obvious choice. Bear in mind, you'll also need a kill of the penance screen to purchase the torso, so make sure you see it through to the end. Let's talk about some magic items. We've got the imbued god cloaks from the Mage Arena 2. Mage Arena 1 is a nice easy one. Splash your God's Bell of Choice in the Mage Arena 150 times, then complete the easy boss fight. Then, for Mage Arena 2, you get to play a hot and cold game chasing down three bosses, one for each main god, and then killing them in the wilderness. Try not to get PK'd. If you're scared of going into the wilderness, bear in mind that this is the best in slot cape for magic, so it's definitely worth it. It's an essential and easy upgrade for any account, and it comes in three colours so make sure you pick the one that matches your fashionscape the best. Last but not least, Ava's device from the quest Animal Magnetism. It's a decent ranged item that returns ammunition to you. It really shines though after you've completed Dragon Slayer 2. One of the repeatable quest bosses, Vorkarth, has a chance to drop his head in a 1 in 50 drop rate and it's guaranteed on your 50th kill. 
This can be taken to Ava along with your current device, some arrows and some coins to upgrade it to Ava's Assembler, which was, until the release of Valamor, the best backslot ranged item. It's got the same functions as the other devices, but with some bigger ranged bonuses. I've got a little extra tip here too. It's not just one item, but imbuing jewellery like the Seer's Ring, Archer's Ring and Berserker Ring is a great way to get a quick upgrade for free if you already have the base gear. You can imbue various items by training combat in the Nightmare Zone. It costs some coins to enter, but if you train here for a while, you should make your money back by spending the excess points you earn on herb boxes. And there you have it, some of the essential unlockable items in old school RuneScape that will bring you up a peg on the DPS charts. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome content. Hope to see you next time.